Correct, Your Honor. Excellent. Well, as the charges are most egregious, I will read them aloud to ensure that we're all on the same page. Now, the plaintiff, Mr. Wallace, has brought this case to the court against the defendant, Mr. Bernstein, on the grounds that, and I quote, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Is this correct, Mr. Wallace? That's right, Your Honor. Fuck Mr. Bernstein. Well, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. <laughs> Mr. Bernstein has brought his defense based on the supposition that no, not fuck him. <laughs> Is this correct, Mr. Bernstein? <clears throat> and my client says that's correct, Your Honor. And who are you? I'm Mr. Bernstein's attorney, Your Honor, Ron Stair. <laughs> 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 What is it again? Ron Stairs, Your Honor. I adore names that are also other words. It's my <laughs> greatest weakness, second only to incredibly poor judging. <laughs> now, as usual, we'll start with the plaintiff's opening statements. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the court, Fuck Mr. Bernstein. <laughs> fuck him very much. In fact, it is my sincere opinion that fuck Mr. Bernstein more than any other human being living or dead. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. Very, very impressive, Mr. Wallace, to fence your response. <laughs> Defense. <clears throat> Folks, not fuck my client. I, I've known him for some time now, and I'm quite sure that not fuck him. I, screw him, maybe. Forget him, certainly, but state without irony or shame that fuck my client is a grave injustice and a of murders. It's fuck my client, ladies and gentlemen. And so fuck us all. Thank you. No, no, thank you, Ron Stairs. <laughs> that, um, that is your name, is it not? <laughs> yes, Your Honor. So, if Ron Stairs is your name, what would that make your name? <laughs> Ron Stairs. <laughs> you'd like to be walked up by somebody, eh? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Who said it? Who? Who? <laughs> I'm sorry, Your Honor. Who are you, charlatan? <laughs> I'm Bert Pardue, a lowly dice repairman from Long Island, and a cat. <laughs> I will not have a man of Ron Stair's caliber heckled like a true penny harlequin by some bumble-headed duty from America's most loathed city of Pope! Apologize, Your Honor! Fuck you! <laughs> Get out! Uh, me out. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me. Where were we? I was uh, just to call my, about to call my first witness to the sand drum. Let's have it then, lest my feathers should be ruffled again by some other dunderhead. <sighs> I call to the stand Bert Pardue, a lowly dice repair cat from Long Island at the defendant's <laughs> dice repair shop. Well, where is the fellow? 
I'm not seeing him, Your it Honor. It seems as though he wished to testify, having come all the way from Long Island. Yes, it's all very strange and unless... Yes, Mr. Wallace. Well, suppose, Your Honor, that the very same Bert Pardue that you just sent out of the courtroom <laughs> is the same Bert Pardue that you called upon to testify. <laughs> yes, it's so quite strange. As I recall, he had the exact same face. <laughs> well, that's abysmal. Your entire case is sunk. No, no, but not necessarily, Your Honor. You see, I recall quite happily how the question was going to go. I had intended to ask my witness if he agreed that, fuck Mr. Bernstein. And he, I was guessing, was going to respond affirmatively. Oh, a brilliant tactic! <laughs> well, if it so pleases the court, I'd like to proceed as though this exchange had indeed taken place. Yes! You see, you <laughs> Oh, don't right. explain. I have no problem. Go right ahead. Excuse me, Your Honor. Oh, okay, so you've got that, Your Honor. Say it back to me. It's fuck Mr. Bernstein. <laughs> if I may... Well, all right, all right. If we're quite done discussing the issue, I would like to move on to my closing statement without hearing any of Mr. Bernstein's witnesses. And do you know why, Your Honor? <laughs> Is it because... Fuck Mr. Bernstein? Yes. <laughs> All right, that sounds fair to me. Let's do it. <laughs> <coughs> Fuck Mr. Bernstein. Every day. <laughs> Fuck Mr. Bernstein. Hey, hey, hey. Fuck Mr. Bernstein standing up. Fuck Mr. Bernstein in a cup. <laughs> Fuck Mr. Bernstein here or there. Fuck Mr. Bernstein in the square. Fuck Mr. Bernstein in at the store and fuck him because he's such a bore. Fuck Mr. Bernstein. Tra la la. Fuck Mr. Bernstein. <laughs> Fuck Mr. Bernstein. Here and there. Fuck Mr. Bernstein far and near. Fuck Mr. Bernstein drinking beer. Fuck Mr. Bernstein without fearing if I'm not being completely clear. Fuck Mr. Bernstein eating muffins. <laughs> Fuck Mr. Bernstein. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Defense, your response. <laughs> your Honor, my client was intensely moved by the poem that Mr. Wallace just read. <laughs> and we've learned something here today, Your Honor. It's that dreams can't be bought and sold like olives in jars. <laughs> they have to be nourished, like olives on the vine. <laughs> we accept all charges. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Hooray for everything! Court is adjourned, the case is closed, and Mr. Wallace!